the Gordita Crunch right now. I'm a lifelong talk about that. I'm glad I'll always have to meet somebody else who is as well. Yeah, one thing in my time. I asked right at the end, I was like, could you put a silver stick in my hair? <laughs> I'm gonna ask an oddball question. Yeah. Are you a fan of V? Absolutely. I know. Very V inspired. Uh -huh. I wasn't sure if that was in intentional or not. Absolutely, absolutely. Yes. I got the same thing my, my hair guy came in today, Cameron Rains, and he was like, V. And I'm like, ah. All right, I just want When you know, you know. That's right. <laughs> awesome. Taco Bell and V. That's right. We'll, we'll meet up later. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Uh, now you guys can ask a real question. So, how is Isabel doing in campus? I mean, her brother and her husband also. Yeah. Thank you for asking. Thank you for asking. She's not doing well. I was really hoping, as an actor, that we'd get to jump in like a year later when some of this has been processed. They're like, no, no, no. So, we begin just moments after all of this has happened. And uh, it's dark, man. It's tough. I'd like to say that it just immediately starts getting better for Isabel but it gets a lot worse before it gets better for her. Um, it's a survival story right there. Like, she's literally just, how do I survive? Because I, everything that I've been has been blown apart. Um, and it's exciting for me as an actor to honor a character who, who had had so many protective armaments to suddenly be so vulnerable and have to get real. You know, she's a character that has been so protected and performative and kind of, she's always had this veneer. And what happens when we like, when the mask is ripped off of her? It was not a choice. She did not make this choice herself. It was ripped off of her. But now she's got to deal with it. And the only way through it is just like, you know, the only way is through it. The only way through it is through it, as they say. <laughs> As an actor, how do you prepare for that kind of scenes, or do, can you even prepare for Ooh, It is really hard, yeah. It's tough, and you ha I'm definitely learning to protect myself in certain ways because the things that we're going through are so deeply disturbing and difficult. Um, I have to, as an actor myself, I need to make sure that I feel really safe, and a lot of it's in the body for me. So before I go into these really dark scenes, I will literally kind of do some like meditations, and I, I actually have like um, a technique that I learned. I, I had um, some trauma that I went through and I learned like this technique of dealing with trauma which is like a cross hemisphere tapping and so I do that a lot to try to get my body to like relax and release and that's the way that things can actually come out because when you have to go to these really scary places a lot of the time your body just is like no no, no. I don't want to do that and you're like it's okay it's okay it'll be fine you're safe so yeah um, it's definitely been something that I've had to do with, especially the first three episodes for Isabel are really dark and difficult and I'm so lucky because the, the crew and the writers and the producers are so supportive and, and careful with us so they definitely take really good care of us to make sure we're okay but um, yeah Isabel's in for it, man. But it gets the, it gets better. It gets better. And I think what's on the other side is also really exciting. How easy is it for you to switch off afterwards as well? Like getting into it. Like, is there a way? Oh, it's really difficult. I kind of know that it's going to be about a day and a half. The next day, it's almost like I'm full of adrenaline, and it's like the day after that. It's like a delayed hangover. It's like dump. It's like delayed onset muscle fatigue, right? Any bodybuilders in the room? <laughs> Am I the only one? Clearly not. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, it's a tough thing. I definitely made the mistake of trying to drown it out with wine recently, and that was not the way, because that just extended the hangover, if you see what I mean. I get out in nature a lot. We're so lucky to film in Santa Fe. It's really beautiful, so I spend a lot of time like trying to be in nature and letting it kind of like seep through me, but it just kind of like takes a little bit to get out. Yeah. So this is the second cast this weekend I've talked to that's been filming out in like Albuquerque, New Mexico, mm -hmm. and apparently there's not as much to do out there. Has that has that helped you guys bond as a cast? Has it made it more difficult? We have been so tight as a cast ever since we filmed the pilot in Albuquerque. We live now in Santa Fe. We, we shoot out of Santa Fe, which I think has a little bit more to do if you're a nature person, which I am. So I'm constantly outside, like 
taking little adventures, going up to the hot springs and tootling around in Mexico, which is beautiful. But Albuquerque bonded us. And we are super tight as a cast. I'm sure people, you can tell from all of our social media things. We're all like, we, we love each other so much and it's a family. That really helps when you're filming in a place that's a little isolating because you go home at night and it's, it can be tough. You go through really emotional stuff and then you get home and you're like, I live with Heather Hemmons and the two of us are like, just so bonded. She is my number one woman. I love her so much and it's so nice to wake up and whoever gets up first makes coffee. It's always me. I'm a farmer. I wake up at 6.30 regardless. I'm like, I made you coffee. She's like, I'm still asleep. Are you angry? I'm like, are you up, Heather? Oh, are you, oh, you're sleeping? Did you want, did you want coffee? No? Now do you want it? Um, I drive her crazy. But it's so nice to have that familial bond so that we all support each other and there's a lot of like love there. That, that goes, it's just the most important thing. Especially when we have to go through some tough stuff. I know we always check in with each other too. I know that Lynn was having a really intense episode recently and we were all kind of like, are you doing you good? You doing anything needs to get wine drunk? Don't do it. It's not a good idea. I've been there. Can you tell us a little bit about um, Isabel's relationship with Liz this season? I mean, her brother died for her sister. Oh boy. It is really complicated. And they have a really complicated history. You know, I think there was a moment when they were really starting to get close at the end, I think episode maybe 12, where she breaks down and Liz is there for her. She's like, this isn't about anyone else. What do you need? You know, and Isabel hasn't always played so nice with the girls. You know, she's got her brothers and she has her husband. And that's like all she needs. And I don't think she has a lot of female friendships. And this season is going to afford Isabel the opportunity. Actually, it's a necessity. She doesn't have a choice. She needs to find help and support in other characters. And so, yeah, I think there's going to be a reaching out. And yet it's so complicated because it's like, well, why does my brother have to die so that your sister came back? Of course, there's still like petty Isabel who's like, that's not fair. Um, and, resent and struggles with the feeling of resentment, but also is so, you know, also needs support and needs, and I think seeing Isabel developing female relationships is really beautiful too. It's been so much fun for me as an actor to get to bring Isabel into that world because um, Isabel's storyline this season is really one of empowerment and a female who is so victimized and now needs to completely start from square one and just like step by step get back to a place of strength in a totally new way. And it's emotional. I've had a blast. Apart from Isabel's journey, what, whose character are you most excited for fans to see? Whose journey in the show? I mean, I have to say Isabel's because I play apart her, but also <laughs> apart from hers, I mean, hers is definitely the best of though. Course. It really is. Um, I'm excited to see more of Maria because there's some really exciting stuff that happens there. And we might see some interesting interactions between Isabel and Maria that we you know we we know they, they've historically butted heads um, and it's been fun to have Heather who's such an incredible talented actress come in and she's definitely has a really interesting exciting story and I think fans are going to be like so happy to see that and, and Maria's interactions with all different characters too the way that she interacts with yeah Isabel we haven't seen her yeah, it's, it's good. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.